What's up guys, welcome back to the FHA12 gaming video and today we are looking at some people's builds in Forza I mean Forza I mean uh, PC part picker so this guy has a 1200F a 970 EVO 500GB pretty weird and then the old specs were 11600k oh that's the old one okay so now it has a sn850x ooh that's pretty nice one terabyte ssd and a two terabyte hard drive and a 37 i'm sorry how much A 3070 D D Ti for a thousand dollars? Jesus Christ. How much a 3070? Oh my god, 118. But well, how much does a 4090 cost? Jesus Christ, 2217. What about 6900 XT? 6900 XT? Oh my god! Bro, at that point, it's not even worth it. That makes the 4090 seem like a good deal. When it really isn't. But still, I think you got scammed on that. It's $1,000. You could just go an AMD build from, like, I don't know, Acer or something. Okay, so this guy... Uh, Canada Computers and Best Buy, 3060 Ti, 5700X, are oh, you in an all-in-one, okay, AIO, X570, okay, 16 gigs of RAM, core of engines, a Kingston KC3000, uh, you went in a 4000D, wait, why do you get an 800 watt power supply? I don't get it. Why would you get a 8,000, did I say 8,000, 850 watt power supply when you have a 3060 Ti? I mean, it doesn't really make sense. Because I have a 500 watt power supply in my system. My system has a Ryzen 9 and a 6700 XT, so I'm not sure you need an 850 watt power supply. So, yeah, it's, that's pretty good, but the you only know, questionable thing is, why an 850-watt power supply? Alright, this man, 3600, and a RX 6600. Okay, this guy, second one, second line. Look at the specs. You have an i7-12700K, okay. One of my friends has a 1200k 3080 build, but look, it's an RX 480, and I know it's a pretty high tier. It's an eight. It's an eight series. Like, in, it's an 80 series, like, usually, like, the 80 series is pretty good, like, the 3080, 2080, 1080, 980. But, this is an RX 480. Bro, you have a 12700K? That thing can't go with a 3080 Ti. Okay, no way you got a 6800 XT and a 12700KF. How did you get it this cheap? Boy, you literally went to a two Actually, how did you get it this cheap? Oh. That's why. Because he paid $15. Good the and he got a B660M, a $58 micro ATX 
But you can tell a board looks ho a board is and is cheap, because it doesn't even have an IO shield, like anything above the IO ports. Because most motherboards, even mine, it's one hundred forty dollars, has like something that like above the IO, above the ports. That this one doesn't even have that. Oh my God! This is a beast. This guy has got an i9 3900KS. So this man's from Europe, okay? An EK... EK? Yeah, I know EK. 360mm. Okay, good. Uh, AIO. And a 64 gigs of 6400MHz RAM. And a Z790 Creator Expert Edition, okay? A 990 Pro. Another 990 Pro. And what seems to be a 4090 and a 1300 watt pass play. That's actually pretty good. Oh, it's nice you chose, mod you chose a modular pass play. For the Netherlands, that is 4,715 euros. For a 4090 build, that's actually... It's not a great price, but it's okay. Okay, this man. Second line. Third one. This man has a different. He got a 1060. Which is, even in 2023, a pretty good graphics card. It's still quite popular. Because of how cheap you can find them. And it's still, they're pretty good. 6 gigs of VRAM. It is GDDR5, but still. It's good enough in playing like most games in 1080p, like low or medium settings. So yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty good. And you wonder the 2700X, which is actually a pretty good CPU, eight cores, pretty high clock speed, all that stuff. Oh, this man with the, went with a seven thousand dollar, and by the looks of it, it's in the whatever it's called. Oh, my man with the went with a thousand dollar headphones. So he has two wireless keyboards, an Odyssey G7, three sets of Fantex fans, a 4090. Bro. Okay, I actually don't get it. How, how are we able to get this for fourteen hundred dollars? Okay, that's wrong tab. I can't even get. Oh, never mind. Ooh, this is the first arc build I've seen. It looks very nice. I noticed you built in the height Y40 case with Lee and Lee fans. Oh, you use this one, the Acer. Yeah, after I built on PC, I actually wanted to get that. I don't know why I didn't get that, because. V more VRAM is good. That's why no one buys NVIDIA. Especially the 40 series, other than the 4090. So, yeah. Ooh, this is another one. 8700K. And a 1660. No way, that was $2,000. Alright. Most of these seem pretty reasonable. My man with a, one of the ITX build, that seems. I think ITX and micro ITX, I don't know which one. Okay. All these, okay. 5600 with a 2080 Ti. That's a bit unbalanced, but I'll let that pass. A 13700K with 3060. Okay, I will not let that pass. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Well, that's the first 4060 build I've seen. Um, a GT740. Is there any reason you picked on this one?
you went with a quad core 4th gen i5, an EVGA super clocked GT740, a 120 gig SSD. Bro, my man trying to get like an actual bang for the bucks. No way, that was 750 watts. Bro, my man spent 150. Bro, he spent. He actually. Jesus Christ. He spent more on the power supply than on the GPU. Ooh, A750. I mean, the A750 is actually a pretty good GPU for the price. 5728 DTI. Okay. High proof. Yeah. 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 Twelve nine. That's the first uh, twelve KS build I've seen. What's the last one? This man went with a Phenom two X four nine seven. Oh, you can tell it's old because it's AM three plus. You can tell that's a very old system. And the fact that it has no SSD and it has a Yeah, that's an older aim bro, my man has a sixty gig SSD. I didn't even know you can get those. And then a one gig GPU. Okay. Okay. Oh, six cores. Alright. Anyway. Probably gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. For more vids. Check out my Twitch channel. At FHA12Gaming. And. Remember to like and subscribe. Check out my other 4005 videos. And. Goodbye.